Welcome back. Happening today, one of the first all private Muslim schools opens in Philadelphia's Germantown neighborhood. 30 girls will be attending the STEM Academy that has a focus on Islamic studies. Eyewitness News reporter Rikisha Bailey talked, spoke with the founders about what's in store for this school year. It's the first day of school for the young women of Khadija bin Khalid Islamic STEM Academy, named after the first wife of the Prophet Muhammad. One of the best role models for young girls. Superintendent and founder Yazir Abdurrahman and his wife Marquita Hammock left the Philadelphia School District to foster an environment that caters to their community. So that they can have a place where they see people that look like them. Um, the teaching staff will look like them. Their classmates will look like them. Usually all of their subjects will be in this room. Uh, with, this, with the exception of a few. As we toured the school, we noticed inspiring images and encouraging words. I really like going here. 11 year old Nahaya Brown says this new school is just what she needed. Religion about where do people go to pray and stuff, um, about my Kemar. Some of the girls uh, have had their overgarments pulled off, have been attacked, have been abused. Um, the teachers don't necessarily know that when it's time for them to pray that they should pray. Sometimes when they're in like a public or a charter school environment, um, they may fall out of place. Now these two are tasked with creating a safe and nurturing environment for young women like Nahaya. We're hoping that when these children leave here, that they leave in a much better situation than they came in. I want to be a doctor. Well, this is just the beginning for the academy. Up next, they say they would like to open an all-Muslim boys' school, and then eventually they would like to service the entire community, but it's going to take time and funding. For more information, visit our website at cbsphiladelphia.com. Reporting from Germantown, Wakisha Bailey, CBS3 Eyewitness News.